So I want to just start off and ask you a little bit, what do you do as an audio engineer when you're making a rock record? Um, well, again, it depends on uh, which uh, faction of record making I've been hired for. Often now, I'll be hired as a producer, engineer, and mixer. Um, sometimes engineer, sometimes just mixer. Um, since my son was born three years ago, I have been doing almost exclusively mixing by choice. Um, that's my favorite part of record making, is mixing a record. I will produce and record a record now just to get to that, that mix. And the hours were appropriate for uh, having on an infant song. Um, so as the mixer, um, I show up at the studio at 10 o'clock in the morning, and if I'm completely unaware of, of the track, if I have not heard the track and have not been part of the session recording, I... I sit down, and these days, of course, I sit down in front of a gigantic Pro Tools screen, and uh, I open it up, and I hope that it's labeled in a way that makes sense to me, like not 1JR3LR. <laughs> um, but first I go through, and I just I, I put all the faders up, and I listen to the song, yeah. and see what, what am I going to mix, and if they've got a, a rough mix, of course, I listen to that, and, you know, it's, it's very fundamental. I... I, I I usually start, I turn the vocal on, and I, then I might flip on the kick drum and turn on some guitars. I don't really have a set way that I approach every mix, because if I did, I would be very bored um, by now. So I just, um, I make it up as I go along and turn on the vocal, turn on the kick drum, put on a couple guitars, and get to know the song. Um, and then I will turn everything off and get a drum sound. and. Uh, and by that, I, again, you, you literally, it's, it's a very physical thing. It's, um, you have a set amount, you have a finite uh, task ahead of you. Mm -hmm. You have an infinite possibility for the song, but, you, but, but it is a finite world that we, 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 we work in. So that always comes to mind. It could be anything. What am I going to make it today? And what you are going to make it today is what you end up with today. And it might be the right thing. This goes for recording, too. It might be wrong, but it is what you will have for that day. And you hope that you have been able to capture magic on some level. Again, there are other mixers and, and record makers who have a protocol. And the song goes through that protocol, and the outcome is always great and always very predictable. I mean to say, your snare drum will always go through the channel that all people's snare drums go through <laughs> and through the processing that all people snare, whether you are um, an artist, a pop artist like Christina Aguilera or whether you are from a band like Nickelback, your snare drum is going through that channel. Right. Um, but I don't, I, I don't have any such thing. I just, um, I do make it up as I go along and there is a moment when either the back of your neck starts to get very hot because it's not working and you know the artist is behind you and you're nervous and you feel bad. And so you don't want to turn around because they're all looking at you and waiting. Or there's that moment when you sit back and think, oh, that, this is it. I'm, I'm almost done. And I didn't know I was almost done, but suddenly it sounds great. And um, another thing as an engineer that this took me a lot of years to gain the confidence to believe. As an assistant, I'd be very nervous. What if I think it sounds, how do I know when it sounds good? And you just have to believe that when you think it sounds good, it doesn't mean that you have some kind of unique sense of sound. If you think it sounds good, and chances are everybody's going to think it sounds good, and so therefore you don't have unique hearing, you have universal hearing, that if that sounds good to me, it sounds good to everybody. Um, and if it doesn't sound good to me, it probably doesn't sound good, and you trust that. And that makes you brave. That makes you able to say, the guitar does not sound good, I don't know why, but now it sounds better. And generally speaking, you turn around and everybody's like, wow, the guitar sounds great, what'd you do? I don't know. <laughs> but I turned that knob and that knob, and um, it's this sense of confidence that you, it takes a lot of years to acquire, that you walk in, you think, I'm going to make this thing sound, again, as great as I can today.